Hi guys, welcome to a new video on fake and real just for you. Today we're going to talk about fake and real wool rich jackets. Just going to keep it short and sweet. So let's start with a label. This is a very common label and have different types of labels as well. We're going to talk about because this is a very common uh, label of wool rich and also fake a lot of times. So as we can see on the top here, we have the brand name. As you can see, beautifully spaced. The color of the label itself is nice and blue. The name as well at the bottom, clear and has beautiful spacing as well. And the rest of the layering and wording is also nicely spaced. We have a cursive here of Woolrich on the sheep and the sheep as well. You can see the head of the sheep and its ears. Now the eyes are a little bit crooked, but that's okay because the image is pretty small, but the quality is still there. So you need to be aware of this as well. Going to a second one, you can see the color is very nice and bright. Also the wordings are nice and bright and the sheep, again, you can see the ears, a little bit the eyes, but the ears are most important because details matter in this case. Different points are one, the color. I have never seen a black label of uh, Woolrich. It's always blue, white, or it has a beige color. Never come across a black one. So that already gives me a red flag. As well as the lettering, the spacing of these letters, they're way too spaced out. If we go a step back, and as we can see, the lettering is closer together and more straight. As we can see here, it's smaller and it's spaced out more. As well as the name, and the rest of the lettering as well. As we see at the bottom here, not readable, but also could be the quality of the image itself. But the rest, as well as the sheep, it's not the same size. The cursive is way different. It needs to be diagonally more. And as we switch back and zoom in here, you can see the line here is way off. The sheep here on this image is smaller. It's thinner. It doesn't have much details. To go back to this label here, we can see all the small details here. The cursive letter here being nice and clean, and also the head of the sheep is very clear. And in this case, the head of a sheep is strange. It has one line here, and again, maybe it's the quality of the image, but in this case, the sheep does not match the original. Going one step further, and then we have this side pocket label on the side. Now, in this case, this is definitely fake. Why? is because the spacing between brand name is way too narrow. It needs a lot more space in between. Plus the fact that the zipper doesn't have the YKK logo on it. Woolrich has two zippers actually. The smaller ones have the YKK on it and the bigger ones, mostly at the front, have the branding of Woolrich. Now the new one is a square with smaller squares in them. And if it doesn't have that, it has the YKK branding and also has a small material on it with the brand name. In this case, this one definitely gives me red flags. This one gives me green flags, as we can say. It has nice spacing on the sides and the wool ridge is clear and it's also nicely stitched. Again, with the zipper, the YKK is here clear. Clear. Another thing is that we need to look at is if you have buttons on your clothing of Woolrich, it will always be branded. On these buttons, it is always debosed. You don't have them embossed. Now, the difference between debosed and embossed is that debosed means, like we can see here, it's been etched in there. Embossed means it's it's popping out. Very important as well. Now this is a good example of what I mentioned before as a white label. I think these are the more newer ones. And you also have this zipper. Now it's not from YKK, but it is, is the Woolrich brand logo, deposed with a embedded feel to it. Look for these little markings on the clothing. Now this picture is from a, a secondhand website. Just looking at the jacket, you can actually see the buttons here all have the brand name on it. These buttons are all embossed, so that's a good sign. The color of the label is a good sign, and also the close up of the side here, you can 
can actually see the spacing is correct. And as we already saw that the zipper has the YKK logo on it. This jacket gives me more positive green flags than actually uh, red flags. So in short, it's very important to remember these tips to help you identify a fake Woolwich. But the most important thing is, is actually the quality of stitching, the quality of material that is used, and also the finishes that they have. Also, price is very important. If it's way too cheap for a very modern jacket, then it's definitely a fake. Otherwise, the person just needs to get rid of it. But in most cases, it is a fake. So ask for clearer pictures of the buttons, of the seams, and of the label and you get a better idea of quality, good indication if it's authentic, yes or no. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope these quick tips helped you to identify a fake Woolwich. Be aware of fake ones out there. So be aware, guys. Hope these tips will help you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.